A win in the end. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on that tonight's game? Yeah, really pleasing. Obviously, first team lads, Justice, Mark, Harrison, Jack. Uh, thought they did really well, especially in the conditions. I thought Jack was excellent. He um, was clinical in, in possession, and I thought Justice made really good runs in behind. And uh, Mark led well at the back, and obviously seven goals. So really pleasing. But the young lads for me were absolutely outstanding. You know, when balls turned over, they got after the ball, they pressed well. The intensity was there for 90 minutes, and really pleasing. I and mean, good to get a win. Because they, they stopped Ludlow playing from nearly the whole game. Yeah, um, you know, when we look at how we want to play in the first team, you know, they, they did that today. They, they pressed from the front, they, they're harassed, they were on the front foot constantly when the ball's turned over, they get they got right back after it and then they played some, with some real quality in possession, which caused the blow a lot of problems. Well, I think Ben Vane Vine played last night as well and then played a full 90 tonight and he, he didn't look tired at all. That's what you got to do when you're a young lad, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> No, but he, he, was, he was very good, obviously, with Matt next to him. I think they've got a good, good little partnership going. He's strong in the air. Um, he reads the game well. He, um, he's, he's good with his feet as well. So, no, he had a really good performance again. And, you know, if you look at Ben from where he was at the start of the season to where he's now, he, he's improved, you know, drastically. So, it's just really pleasing to see that. I'm nice to get the full 90 minutes. Obviously, um, Hingy from Hells Owens missed the, um, missed the trophy games, yeah. hasn't he? So, he's yeah. been short on games. It, it, it's, bit. it's been difficult for him because, obviously, he's, he's been cup tied in the FA Cup and he's been cup tied in the trophy. So, the games that he'd probably been involved in, you know, and he would have got minutes in, we've, we've not been able to play him. So, you know, it's important for him to get minutes today. Same with Justice. Obviously, just has come on the other day, and I thought he was excellent when he came on the other day on Wednesday. But for Jack, it's just um, getting him up to speed and, and you know, getting him to use the ball quicker. Because I think sometimes he takes a bit too many touches. And tonight, you can see how devastating he is when he plays one and two touches. Devastating. And he's, his end product's outstanding, and he, and, he, and he was there. He got the opening goal as well, didn't he? That's for his name. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it broke well. Again, runners in behind, sliding behind and, and, and a great finish. And it was the movement, especially for some of the young lads that got in the space. And, and obviously the final ball from Justice just brought it down, slid him in um, to get the finish. And he was clinical when, it, when, it, when he got the opportunity. And then second half, come a bit of, bit of a fight. But I think Harry Main was the boss possession mostly. And then and got the second goal to kill it off. Yeah, I mean, we played to the lads at half-time. I think the, the back end of the first half, after the last five minutes, they started really pressing on. So we said to the lads, now you've got to be a bit more calm in, in, in possession and composed to know that when they come out second half, they're going to come at you. And I think they did that and they turned it into a bit of a fight for a period. And again, it's pleasing to see young lads being up for the front and the series up and putting some, some tasty tackles in. So that was pleasing to see. And then eventually our quality come through to finish the game off. Because um, Ludlow could have could have come back into it, obviously. They had a chance and if Hopeland hadn't got that second goal, it might have been a bit nervy at the end. Yeah, I mean, we spoke at half-time about their square passes, centre-half to centre-half, and I don't think Mark saw him. So he's passed in and he's nipped in, hasn't he? But uh, for me, Seb stood up big and strong. And, and I think sometimes goalies go down a bit early and it makes it easy for the, for the strike and Seb stayed up strong and, and obviously he's, he's, he's put it wide. And nice for Justice as well to get the, the full 90 and show what, he's made, what he can do as well, because obviously he doesn't get that many chances in a Hereford Chicks do you No, I mean, if you look at him, he was here last season and he's been at the start of the season and he's made the squad, not made the squad. But what he's been doing, he's been training really well lately and that's why he's been in the squad. That's why he came on the other day and, he, and he's... You know, he's, he's in our thoughts, he's in our plans because of his, his, his work ethic and the way he's training. So it's pleasing to see him. I feel he's one of the best players on the pitch today. Um, and his, his energy level is he's, he's, he's contagious, isn't it? You know, his work rate, he's pressing, he's getting on the ball, he's energetic and it just brings everyone with him. So, yeah, really good, really good. And is it starting to show that it's a clear pathway? I mean, lots of them are playing Westfield development, Westfield's first team and the under-18s and midweek football as well. And starting to play men's football regularly a lot. Of yeah, and, and Mark's made his full debut, hasn't he? Yeah, um, at the weekend. So, you know, for me, obviously, just before I took over, we'd, we'd obviously disbanded the youth team and it's, it's really important for me that, we, you know, we get young lads playing, um, especially here for, here for audience in, in, in and around our first team. So, you can see with the work Nash and, uh, and the guys are doing that, you know, you can see out there the patterns, the, the build-up play, the, the intensity of, of the young lads. You know, we've got a clear pathway for them you know we speak to Westfield and some of the other clubs to make sure that these young lads are playing men's football so they're ready when the time's right to come and, and throw into the first team and, and so far we've got one one in the first team obviously Harrison joined in um, but with Mark if you get one every now and again it, it's a successful youth system so it, it's starting on the right thing. And how important are these games because obviously you, you probably like to have a few more fringe senior players, but yeah. obviously you're short on them at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice to have one or two, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, it's important. Obviously, I mean, that's the, I think the frustrating thing for me was when I was coming through at a reserve league. So when players didn't play in the first team, not a reserve. So there was constant games every week. Yeah. Whereas now it's more of a case of trying to arrange some friendly games to to, to get lads minutes. And that's why the County Cup's so important for us because we get lads that haven't played regular and it gives me a chance to see some of the young lads in a competitive men's game.
And you, you, I'm guessing you're going forward in the next couple of rounds, they'll be the same again. Yeah. Same sort of young lads trying yeah, to yeah. impress you and, and get their place in training, maybe. Yeah, 100%. We did last year, didn't we? We got to the final last year, um, the same setup. You know, we get the young lads an opportunity and lads that you know, haven't played minutes in the first team, and, and that will continue in this competition. And going forward, Hereford at home to Darlington on Saturday. How's the, uh, the contact spot going? <laughs> the My round. phone is ringing a lot. <laughs> I'm ringing all the time. Yeah, look, um, we know, obviously, we know the situation in the club. Like, we're not happy with probably the way things have gone over the last um, couple of weeks, um, probably last four games. You know, we don't want to... I, I would say we don't want to play the way we're playing currently. Um, you know, I share the fans' frustration in the sense of, you know, the results haven't been going our way and the performance haven't been going our way. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, that's just down to the personnel at the moment and the injury we've had. So we've had to set up in a bit more of a boring way, I would say, um, just to, to try and get results. Now, at the end of the day, we haven't got results lately. So we've got to look at it and, and, and turn it around and be a bit more positive, be a bit more on the front foot, press and, and do that stuff now. That comes with personnel. So, you know, we're, we're working as hard as we can. I am away from the club to make sure we, we try and get some bodies in for Saturday so we can be more competitive. You know, the reality is the last two games, oh, decent. The last two games we've um, played with no full haven't we? So just, just little things like that don't help. So, um, you know, we're looking at trying to get some bodies in so we can be a bit more competitive, a bit more on the front foot, a bit more entertaining. And, and that's what we're going to look to do on Saturday. Okay, so then, thank you.